Hello, how are you doing? Hello, how are you? I'm good, thanks. People don't people don't understand how important it is to just start. Like there's so much pressure and perfection, there's so much pressure and detail, but honestly speaking, you're not gonna learn a thing until you start. I don't care like how perfect you think things should map out based on your plan. You have to just start. And I think this matters in, in, in all realms, whether you want to be in a creative field, whether you want to be in, you know, the, the entertainment industry, whether you want to be in the business world, you have to literally start and have to be burnt. Like, your business hasn't started until you've been burnt. And burnt by, pardon me by being burnt, you have to kind of have your cuts and bruises, just like any process in life. To learn to ride a bike, you have to fall over. You know, to learn to ski, you have to drop. To learn to walk, you know, you have to, you have to, have a few have a few moments of landing on your bum but at the end of the day that's the moment it starts and i think we try so hard to prevent that that pain happening when we start things that we either one never end up starting or two find ourselves in a position where we don't start because we don't want to deal with the pain and the reality is is that that pain is good for you you know there is a difference between good pain and bad pain and pains that give you lessons and enable you to you know, realistically learn that if I put my hand over fire, I'm gonna be burnt. Are the are the pains that have helped you throughout the the life that you live right now? And I think I can't alliterate how important it is to just start your ideas, guys, because I think there are so many forces against us. There are so many distractions. There are so many reasons. There are so many lack the ability to believe that they can. But in reality, it's like half the people that you see that you think are successful, they didn't believe they were gonna be that successful. They just had the guts to start. And I think that's a very, very, very big factor. I mean, a lot of the things that I do um, require me starting. I mean, I had no experience in fashion. I just started it. I, mean, I have no experience in technology. I just started. And as you start, you begin to build momentum. And momentum is what actually has the ability to attract people to not only work for you, but it has the ability for you to start to believe in what you're doing. And at the same time, it gives you the ability to stand there and say to yourself, do you know what? This is working. And I think once you start to get that momentum in whatever you're doing, if you want to be a dancer, if you want to be an engineer, if you want to be a musician, if you want to be a, a soccer player, you just have to start. And inevitably, when you do start and you consistently find yourself committed to the idea of starting, you'll find yourself in a position where reality, you one, start to move yourself into the position of perfection, which is, to me, I think is an impossible uh, uh, outcome because I think you can always do better. But I think it gives you the guidance to, to feeling like, you know, this is worth it. Just hustle, man. Just hustle. Because no one's going to pat your back when you're doing this. And no one's going to really, you know, guide you into this. And that's why I think, like, me sharing these videos, I'm just really giving you my attitude. It's not me sitting here saying I have the answer, but I feel like the attitude is what's missing in today's... Uh, you know, society, I think there's so much of a of a hush mentality to, to doing business and I, I think reality is like, it's, it, it's a doggy dog world out there but you have to come into it strong and if you're the only one that believes in that idea, be the only one, you know, but at the same time, I'm not going to sit here and say to you, burn with your ship, be the only one to believe in your idea, to start it and then evaluate the one, the idea, you know, and your confidence is what draws confidence of other people, other talented people and, you know, you'll find yourself, realistically speaking, achieving things that you never knew you could but it only starts from starting so yeah we've got some meetings today you're gonna come along um life of a workaholic you know i'm always working it's friday today and you know we're, we're, we're hitting the city uh london town and just making things happen you know i mean i know i've got a bit of a dress down today but nevertheless it doesn't mean that we ain't working um but I love having you guys with me and I'm going to continue to share the hustle with you. So uh, stay tuned and we'll keep you in the loop. Yeah. Uh. Can't change the world unless we change ourselves. Die from the sicknesses if we don't seek the health. All eyes be my witness when I speak was felt. Full house on my hands, the cars I was dealt. Three K's, two A's in America. I'm just a black space born out the nebula. And everything I do will say today is worthwhile. With assurance by your action and your first child, I begin my first now. Sometimes I speak and I feel like it ain't my words. Like I'm just a vessel channeling inside this universe. I feel my ancestors and rested inside of me. It's like they want me to shoot my chance and change the society. But
today. So you're going to follow us today. We're going to be working. We're going to be, you know, pushing this brand forward as we always do. Um, and yeah, like, come on, man. Let's hustle. Let's go. Let's go. Keep it moving. Let's go. Money for some bitches about to start, I got a bad habit. Money for some bitches about to start, I got a bad habit. Money for some bitches about to start, I got a bad habit. Money for some bitches about to start, I got a bad habit. Bet you won't forget it. 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 Millennials as their audience, like similar kind of audience demographics to what we're, we're looking for. Where do you come in? I mean, this is, everything's a challenge, but it's a bit. Hey, that's. that's... Yeah. I have to be honest with you, I don't do this alone. It's important that whenever you're building your brand and your idea, you don't just work with people that are within arm's reach. You have to find talent. You have to find people that can not only enhance your brand, but you can learn from. I think it's very easy to, you know, to deal with a friend that knows a friend through Facebook and works with you, or to deal with somebody that was available because they've got a skill. No, you have to search for talent. And more importantly, you have to be comfortable with the idea of work with people you don't know, whether it's a, a, a different gender, race, ethnicity. At the end of the day, you want to be in a position where you're not only working with people because you can trust their experience, but you're working with people because you can learn as well. And I think, you know, when it comes to this hustling thing, you know me, I'm just about finding the best, the best people, the best talent, anyone that can enhance this, because I don't sit around and profess that I'm an expert at anything. I'm a student, I'm hungry, I want to learn, I want to know what's new, I want to push whatever idea I have forward with the collaboration of other people. So, you know, when it comes down to it, you can't limit yourself to your comfort of your surroundings. The world is big. People that may not be into the same music as you may be able to enhance your idea. People that may not be into the same you know, style of clothes as you may still be able to enhance your idea, your dream, your ambition. So inevitably what you have to make sure you're doing is seeking talent and going out there and finding the people that you need to work with. Because for me, I understand that my goal is big. I don't know if any of you saw it, but I got a prediction out there in the press. For, for a billion users in five years, so I need people. People of talent, people I don't know. Because everyone that you do know, honestly speaking, realistically speaking, they've already accepted who you are. So you need to find people that are unaware of who you are and can enhance the new version of you. Money for the bitches about us. What happened to Macy? What happened to your Mace? Where's she gone? I was born inside a small town, I lost that state of mind Learned to sing inside the Lord's house but stopped the age of nine I forget when I get awards now, the wave I had to ride The paving stones I played upon that kept me on the grind So blame it on the pain that blessed me with the life Friends and family filled with envy when they should be filled with pride 
And when the world's against me is when I really come alive And every day that Satan tempts me I try to take it in my stride You know that I've got whiskey with white lies And smoke in my lungs I think life has got to the point I know without it's no fun I need to get in the right mind and clear myself up And said I look in the mirror questioning what I've become Guess it's a stereotypical day for someone like me Without a 9 to 5 job or a uni degree To be caught up in the trappings of the industry Show me the locked doors I'll find another use for the key And you'll see I'm well aware of certain things that can 